any of these. It's almost like power level, right? There's like that dude you can never beat. He's just better than you. But like, it always happens to work out that there's one guy who always beats the top three. The top three players in one team are just never as good as the other one sometimes. And then it reverses. <laughs> well, what's happening, Stacy? How you doing? We're three matches in, four matches in. This is the point, like I said yesterday, where it flips. This is the point where Aura goes 3-0 the other way. Maybe 4-0. And then we start getting into the interesting bits. The extra life and what do you do with it. So we'll see here. First round is going to go. Ooh, no, couldn't get a finished combo on the sidewall. Round is pretty much secured, though. Oh, not unless you just duck when you get up at the wall, so... Wow, look at that block. But remember that block, kids. Fight. Blocked the new move and was ready for the second low coming out of it. No sidestep on that. I'm so ready to sidestep that move, even when it hits me. I'm trying to get up and sidestep right away. I'm trying not to get hit by that dumb shit as much as I can. Ooh, armored launcher. Oh, names backwards? Yeah. That's still going to be a thing. <laughs> That's probably never going to change. I had to do that manually. John Wick beat an aura in a set. Probably at some point. I don't think this is historically 10-0 or anything like that. Round three. All right, a little back and forth. Some pokes getting some landing now. John Wick is getting a couple of hits in. Nice throw break. Aura's got nothing. He's just kind of throwing out that one, like, down back three, whatever it is, counter hit thing. Trying to hit a home run with it. Hasn't been able to land it as much so far. There we go. Nice low parry. Huh? Fly knee to the wall. Boom, boom. Huh, huh, huh. Nice damage off a low. That was 40% off a low parry. Ooh, triple knee to the wall. Bang, bang, bang. Nice back dash out of the throw. All right, Aura's got his Rage Art activated, but he gets bopped in the face first. Oh, he might have been able to get up and do it there, but that'll work too. Nice distancing. Blows up a low attack with the flying knee rage drive. Gotta focus. Round one. Fight. But anything can happen on any given Sunday. That's why we play the game. It just so happens there's trends. So, go figure. Alright, we got nothing happening so far. Lots of nothing. More stuff missing. There's one. There's a bop in the dome. No duck. Another bop. Gets blocked this time. Alright, nice interrupt. Yeah, team composition, like, you they definitely think about it. I don't, like, coach the Charlotte team or anything like that. And, like, I, you know, I, I talked about in the beginning when they put the team together, how I invited you guys to be the core and, you know, pick whatever you want. And then we talked about, like, you know, the ideas behind it. And then, but I asked all the captains to put your best player last, just for the sake of more matches. Because you put the best player in the state first, he might just run the table on the other team and be done. It'd be 6-0, and then we go home. But if you put your best players last, the result is usually 6-5. So we just get more matches. Other than that, it's just kind of a strategy, right? Do you want to put your scrub buster first? Do you want to put your experience first? Whatever it might be.
but when you get down to the end of it, every region has their best player in that four or five slot or whatever, and that's where it changes. That's when it becomes like a back and forth sort of game. In the beginning, nobody wins one, loses one. But when you get to the end, that's all it is, win one, lose one, back and forth. It is very interesting about the team composition and how it's just like it's, it's what people are, right? Round one. Fight. It's their secret. They got an ancient Chinese secret to victory. Somebody back there reading Sun Tzu. They got this locked up. Yeah, like Order of Power seems to make the most sense in general. You want your anchor to be the, the best person. There are lots of ways to think about it, though. Um, look at something like a shootout in hockey. You have three guys that each take a turn at a shot, right? You think, oh, I want the best player to be last because it's the most clutch situation. Your best shooter you actually want to be second, mathematically. Because let's say in the first round, I, we got a goal and they didn't, so I'm up one. Your best shooter, then he gets his goal, and that puts the max amount of pressure on them to, to close it out. You got an 80% win chance at that point. But if you lost the first round, if they got a goal and you didn't, then your best shooter is the guy who then comes up to tie it up. And then you go back to one last shot. That, just the way that that, that timing works out, because it's you all get your last up, you both get a shot at scoring, and there's three rounds. You want your best guy to be the second one. And you want to go first, I think. I'm, I do not quite remember the methodology there. Because one team, the home team gets to pick if they want to go first or last, I believe. I think you want to go first, mathematically. Round four. But again, there's a lot of ways to look at stuff like that. The distribution of skill and positive versus negative outcomes. Right, the last player always has to be clutch no matter what. Because if it comes down to the last player, that's you, right? So you got to do something. You can't be the anchor and hope the four slot takes it down for you. And that's the Virginia Tech squad has mostly gone through that. They put all Lamb in the fifth slot, and he goes out and he almost runs back every single team. Like he knows I have to go 5 0 or we lose. And he's getting like 4 0 pretty much every time, and then the reset, whatever. It's very difficult. Alright, so this is a round we got here. This is our double Luigi. Oh, a sidewalk with no punishment, and then a bop in the dome once again. I don't know what's making him duck at that long range. I guess he's expecting a crouch dash 3 as he's running away, but he's really far away to just be ducking. <laughs> 